Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Thursday, July 4th, our scripture is from the second chapter of Ezekiel, verses 1 through 5. He said to me, O mortal, stand up on your feet and I will speak with you. And when he spoke to me, a spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and I heard him speaking to me. He said to me, Mortal, I am sending you to the people of Israel, to a nation of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have transgressed against me to this very day. The descendants are impudent and stubborn. I am sending you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that there has been a prophet among them. A prophet among them. Stand up on your feet and I will speak with you. Verse 1. Before wireless phones, there was the party or community line. A single telephone line used by several different households. Perhaps we can think of prophets as a sort of a party line between people and God in Bible times. The prophet Ezekiel hears God say, Stand up on your feet and I will speak with you. There, this is no sleeping vision, but a waking encounter with the people of God of Israel. And God sends Ezekiel to the people of Israel with a message, whether they are ready to hear it or not. They shall know that there has been a prophet among them. Verse 5. Today, too, the voice of God can seem harder to hear. But when we gather for worship, we hear God's word and discern as a community how and where God is calling us. When we pray, God meets us. Dirk Lang, in his book, Today Everything is Different, Fortress Press 2021, calls prayer dialogue with another, with the risen Christ. God is calling. Will we stand up and listen? Our prayer. God who calls, send your spirit so we can hear your voice and share your message with others. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.